welcome back in part second now we will see our uh, node application using mongo db client connector so i am again in node basic folder i will run the command cmd and uh, opening the code visual studio code here in visual studio code i have uh, a db con dbcon file contains uh, basically mongodb client connectors connectivity you can see here we have connected mongodb which is actually not the mongodb database but a mongodb client connector and we are taking uh, this is basically the module and this is the class you can see uh, it is class mongo client we are taking an object of this class mongo client then I have defined two URLs uh, to show you the both methods uh, connecting with the DD database name and without the database name. We are uh, we will be using both, and then we uh, are creating the server. And after creating the server, the first route is slash is uh, just the hello world, and uh, and then I have implemented three routes. First is the connect route. Connect route is basically connecting with the URL to that means the name with the database. And in this, we are calling MongoDB or Mongo client dot connect URL to. We are passing some parameters, optional parameters. These optional parameters are actually instruction to the compiler to use the new URL parser and also use the unified topology for this. Application. Uh, if you don't use this uh, basically optional parameters, what it will do? It will show you the depreciation warnings here, and uh, those depreciation warning will have no impact on your application. But uh, just to avoid those depreciation warning, you can use a new URL parser and uh, use unified topology. Moreover, it, it is a much better way out for uh, your parsing. Uh, because uh, in URL parsing there is a chance of some sort of uh, bug, so better to use the new URL parser. And if the database is not connected, it will return you the error, else the database has been connected. Uh, DB is the uh, connector to your database. In add, what we are use, what we are doing, we are actually connecting the database again, the same mechanism, then we are connecting with the database mydb and uh, we are defining the object we are inserting that object into the database and showing the result simple one no issue in it the last one is the find in the find we are again connecting to the database then we are finding all the record from the database that means we are finding all the documents that are available in the collection of customers and we are converting that uh, into an array and after getting the result uh, i will display the result in the console.log as well as i am sending to the response.end uh, but before sending the response to the response.end we have to convert it into a json format to convert our result into a json format we will use the json.stringify and uh, will pass the result to that json.stringify function by doing so we have converted our result into a json object so let's run this server node mm, the name of the file is dbcon.js now my server is running uh, running at port 1337 so let's go to 1337 local host 1337 by default the home page is there after home page if i will click on slash connect it will show me the database has been connected while in uh, in the browser it, it is showing uh, so, sorry in, to the console it is showing database created so uh, if there is a database available it will create the new oh, sorry it will connect to the database and if it is not available it will create the new and after that i will run Add will add the record into the database. I have already inserted four documents, and this will be the fifth document. I will add 
and it is showing me the record errors successfully. And same here, the one document inserted into the database. And my last uh, basically part is to find. Uh, when I run the find one, it will return me all the um, objects, all the documents that has been saved into the database. Uh, you can see uh, there are number of documents with the same site sort, sort of information, but there is a unique ID tied to every new record. So you are returning with the array. You can see the uh, array, array of objects that are stored into your database. So by doing these three small steps, I'm connecting to the database easily. So these are basic uh, um, basically basic concepts that are required to connect to the database as i have told you we have two mechanisms one is uh, our uh, uh, mongodb client connector and second is mongoose we will majorly use the mongoose in our load applications and uh, we will use uh, mongoose in our uh, in our React, Angular, and Mongoose connector and network connectivity and database connectivity. So, Mongoose will be widely used. Uh, this connector will be used very rarely, but you should know here you should know that it is a client connector, MongoDB. MongoDB is also a database, but it is a client connector at the moment. So, we are connecting using this connector to our MongoDB database. This is MongoDB database while this is mongodb client connector so by doing this we have inserted some records into our database we have sent few records from our database uh, go through this code you can copy paste this code from the slides and you can use those co that code to uh, insert update delete uh, different uh, documents from the collection so that is all from the today's lecture hopefully you should understand um, the basic concepts of uh, mongodb client connector how to connect to the database how to get how to fetch the results uh, don't worry about the view of the result as we are not working at the moment on the views views part will be handled this part will be handled using react and angular our main part is to define the routes in the server side so we are stepping ahead in the next lecture we will go through the mongoose and then we will start our React uh, main framework in which we will work, we will write the routes and respond to the request of the users. So that is all from the today's lecture. Uh, inshallah, meet you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.